Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and welcome back to Tribal Council. Uh, okay, so, officially one week after the conclusion of Survivor Game Changers, I'm going to have a couple more videos in the next week or so, talking about my thoughts on the season as a whole, giving it a grade, and so on, and uh, since the season is now in the books, uh, we can begin to talk about, bef before we move on to Survivor Heroes, Heroes Hustlers, what a f a new, uh, interesting name for a, a season, <laughs> Nice going, Probst. Uh, but before we go into that, of course, we, we begin the transition by talking about uh, the past season and grading it and uh, analyzing it. And we begin, of course, by talking about why Sarah won and why Brad Culpepper lost. So that's the topic of today's video. So I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are comfortable. Uh, grab a seat, grab a snack if you want to, and let's get into Tribal Council. So why Sarah won and why Culpepper lost, and it's very simple. Sarah's social game was far superior to Brad's. While Brad did a great job cultivating relationships with people and playing in a way that was uh, slightly more subdued and certainly a lot better than he did in Survivor Blood vs. Water, uh, he still came off as bullish and dickish and a bit overly aggressive and too in your face with his social gameplay, uh, feeling a bit threatening at times, uh, being that kind of kingpin that he was at times, being at times that kingpin that he definitely was in Blood vs. Water, but uh, um, his uh, one... I, I guess you could say Mulligan, I guess he gets is uh, being the comp beast, which is why Ozzy voted for him because Ozzy is a comp beast himself, and Ozzy is much more susceptible to appreciating Brad being a comp beast. So, meanwhile, the rest of the jury doesn't appreciate comp beasts nearly as much. They appreciate why comp beasts have to feel the need to stay in the game by winning challenges. That's how Mike Holloway won worlds, won Survivor Worlds apart by having a strong social game but still being a comp beast and knowing that if he loses the immunity challenge, he's going home. And that's part of the reason why Joe Anglum, who competed in Worlds Apart and then the subsequent season, uh, Cambodia, Second Chance, is he knew that if he, if he lost immunity, he was going home. So I remember that one episode uh, in Cambodia when Joe was voted out, he passed on that challenge that he probably would have won, won otherwise, and they voted him out. So, um... With that said, um, Ozzy can appreciate comp beasts more so than other jurors, whereas people like Zeke and Andrea cannot appreciate comp beasts. Uh, and then, of course, the other votes that Brad got, he only got three, were Debbie, who's just, she's fucking crazy. She's out of her fucking mind. Uh, you know, she's got no respect for Sarah, even though in the context of Survivor, Survivor is a game. It's different than real life. That's why Tony won Kagyan, distinguishing the game from real life. Those are his own words, too. That's why Russell should have, Russell Hand should have won Samoa and maybe should have won uh, Heroes vs. Villains. And uh, the other vote was, and th this is uh, this lets me segue into the crucial point of today's video, and the other vote that Brad got was Sierra Don Thomas. So, not only did Sarah um, find that secret advantage that was at Michaela's feet during that one challenge when Michaela did not participate, and even though Sari tried to snatch it from Sarah, um, Sarah ended up using it to get Michaela out of the game, and of course Michaela appreciated uh, Sarah's uh, willingness and boldness to make that move. Um... Of course, the thing that I said a few weeks ago once Sarah the game was getting the legacy advantage from Sierra. So Sierra being so desperate, and this is why Sierra should not have been brought back. This I hope Sierra never appears on Survivor again. Uh, the reason why she uh, she shut is because she was so desperate to stay in the game. She was willing to say and do anything. So she even so much in fact that she gave Sarah a reason to take her out of the game by saying, "If I get voted out of the game, the legacy advantage is yours." So while uh, Sarah said in the immediate confessional after that uh about that uh, turn of events she said oh sierra's chances of staying in the game on my watch are going up and up and up but in reality that's just giving sarah a reason to take her out so sarah took her out and got the legacy advantage uh sierra and of course what's even worse like it, you know kind of uh, throwing salt in the wounds you know it's is uh if you want to call it that, for lack of better words, for throwing throwing salt in the wounds, uh, Sierra could not appreciate that she was outsmarted in such a terrible way. Um, she ended up voting for Brad, even though S Sierra made the move that won her the game. So, with that said, I'm going to swipe that notification away. <laughs> uh, so, she Sierra gave her a reason to take her out, um, and uh, and. It's the reason why Sarah won the game, because had Sarah not had the legacy advantage, she would have gone out at Final Six, because everyone had immunity except Sari in that Tribal Council. Uh, Brad won the challenge. Ty played his two idols for him and for Aubrey. Troy Zen played his idol. Sari w went home in that legendary Tribal Council, by the way. And uh, so, it had Sarah not had the legacy advantage, she had three votes, whereas Sari had none. Sarah would have gone home. And then Sarah would have been out at six, and Brad would have won, because Brad... 
you know, would have been the next best choice, obviously. God knows Troy Sand wasn't getting any fucking votes. And, you know, it doesn't matter if he took Ty, Suri, Aubrey, whoever. Uh, I, I don't think they would have gotten the votes. I think even though Aubrey and Suri, and, and to an extent Ty are fairly decent, solid enough players, uh, if it's not Sarah, it's Culpepper, no doubt about it. But, uh, again, so had Sarah not had the legacy advantage, she would have been out of six, and we'd be sitting here talking about why Brad won and whoever came in second place lost, because we know whoever came in second place would have gotten two or three votes, and Troy Zan would have gotten third, because fuck Troy Zan. <laughs> Fucking arrogant asshole saying I could beat anyone, but no one could beat me. <sighs> so that is the move that won Sarah the game. Giving Sierra Don Thomas, giving her a reason to take her out, and then Sarah taking full advantage of that. Sarah's social game was just far superior to Brad's. That's why Sarah is the winner of Survivor Game Changers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave in the comments below what you think about this. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. We got more coming in the next week or so. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Sarah wins and Brad loses for that reason. Grab your torches and back to camp. Good night.